All right, just going to do a video on the scriptural method of disposing of cursed items and cursed objects and enchanted and charged objects. What does the Bible say? How does the Bible say we're to dispose of cursed objects? And what are some examples of cursed objects? Well, witchcraft items, the Islamic Quran, Catholic books, um, Catholic Bibles, Catholic perversions of the Bible, uh, Hindu writings, Hindu statues, all these are cursed objects. Uh, pagan items of any kind, you know, ch uh, charms, amulets. All that stuff. Even horror films can be seen as cursed objects too. I do believe horror films can be cursed objects too. Films about demons, you know, films, books, and glor books glorifying demons or devils. The, the biblical term is devils, obviously. Demon is not a scriptural term. All these can be cursed objects. And how does the Bible say to, or also any items that are used in witchcraft? I'll just say that any item that can be used in the occult or false religions, all those are cursed objects. And how does the Bible say we're to dispose of these items? Well, let's get right into it. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verses 25 to 26. Let me turn there to King James Bibles. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 25 to 26. The graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on them, nor take it unto thee, lest thou be snared therein, for it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thine house, lest thou be cursed, lest, be, lest thou be a cursed thing like it. But thou shalt utterly detest it, and thou shalt utterly abhor it, for it is a cursed thing. But notice verse 25. The graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire. Okay, we're going to see a continual theme in the Bible of disposing of cursed objects by burning them. Because that is a proper way to dispose of them, to burn them, to get rid of them. Why? Because that is symbolic of the devils and Satan, their fate, burning in the lake of fire for all of eternity. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verses 2 to 3. Turn there in the King James Bible. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verses 2 to 3. Ye shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations uh, which ye shall possess serve their gods upon the high mountains and upon every hills and, upon, and under every green tree. And ye shall overthrow their altars and break their pillars and burn their groves of fire. And ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods and destroy the names of them out of that place. So again, burn them, get rid of them, destroy them. Don't keep them around. Don't try to study them or that kind of stuff. No, get rid of them, burn them. And we're going to see examples of this actually being put into practice in scripture. 1 Kings chapter 15, verse 13. Turn there into King James Bibles. 1 Kings chapter 15, verse 13. And also Micah, his mother, even her, he removed from being queen because she had made an idol in a grove, and Asa destroyed her idol and burnt it by the book Kidron. So even the idol too, the idols of these false gods, they can be cursed items too. And the king, he burnt them. He got rid of it. The proper way to dispose of these cursed items is to burn them. Uh, Exodus chapter 32, verse 20. Scripture, one of the other scripture I wanted to cover. Exodus chapter 32, verse 20. Turn there. And he took the calf, which they made, and burnt it in the fire, and ground it, into, ground it to powder, and strawed it upon the water, and made the children of Israel drink of it. So this calf, this pagan idol, this golden calf that the Israelites built, Moses, he burnt it. He, he destroyed it. He turned it into powder. Second Kings chapter 23, verse 4. Turn there. Second Kings chapter 23, verse 4. And the king commanded Hilkiah the high priest and the priests of the second order and the keepers of the door to bring forth out of the temple of the Lord all the vessels w w that were made for Baal and for the grove and for all the hosts of heaven and he burnt and he burned them without Jerusalem in the fields of Kidron and carried the ashes of them unto Bethel. So these idols, these graven images, these these things that are used to burn incense to the false gods, he burned them and he got rid of it. Now the, the most well-known scripture in this in this particular subject, Acts chapter 19, verse 19. Turn there in the King James Bible. A blatant command on how to deal and how to get rid of these cursed objects that you may have in your possession. Acts chapter 19, verse 19. Many of them also, which used curious art, brought their books together and burned them before all men, and they counted the, book, the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver. 
And notice verse 20, so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. You see, you're not going to have revival, you're not going to have blessings in your home with these cursed items in your home, whether it be the Quran, whether it be any kind of occult book out there, because the Quran is witchcraft, by the way. Uh, Islam is witchcraft. Whether it be any Catholic book, whether it be any Hindu, th any Hindu item, whatever. Uh, you're not going to have revival and spiritual blessing in your country, in your town, or even in your home if you have these cursed items in there. It'll hinder that. You read jo uh, Joshua chapter, the book Joshua chapter 7, they did not have, they, it basically brought a curse on them. The God was not with them in battle when they had the Babylonian garment. I believe it was Joshua chapter 7 where it has that. So those are some examples of how to deal with cursed items is to burn them. Okay, you burn them, get rid of them, because it symbolizes Satan and the devils, their fate in the lake of fire for all of eternity. So, wanted to show you that. Hope this is a spiritual blessing for you. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with, be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.